start projecting content wirelessly from an iOS device, you first need to install the Panasonic wireless projector application on your iPhone or iPad. Download the software from the App Store. Simply enter Panasonic projector in the search bar. Download Panasonic wireless projector for iOS. Next, let's set up the projector. First, turn on the projector. Wireless projector for iOS has three connection modes, simple, mdirect, and user mode. Simple mode provides an easy connection to your computer, tablet, and smartphone. M-Direct is best when connecting the projector through any network using a security key. Please select User Mode when connecting to an existing network or access point. Today, we'll demonstrate how to connect using Simple Mode. Press Menu on the remote controller to show the on-screen display and select Network USB in the projector's settings menu. Then, set Wireless LAN to Simple Mode. You can also select M-Direct or User Mode from the same menu. Then press the Panasonic App button on your remote controller. A standby screen is displayed in the projected image. Next, confirm the projector's settings information, network ID, projector name, and wireless LAN. Network ID is displayed in the upper left corner. Projector name is shown next to network ID. This name can be changed to whatever you like, such as venue name. Wireless LAN connection setting is displayed in the bottom left corner. SSID and key are at the bottom center. Press the Auto Setup button on the remote controller to display key. If you're using a flat panel display or a legacy projector without a standby screen, confirm the settings information in the Input Guidance or Settings menu. Now, let's open wireless projector. First, you need to change the Wi-Fi settings on your iOS device. Tap the settings icon on screen. Select Wi-Fi in the settings menu. Set Wi-Fi to on. Next, tap the SSID of the projector you want to use. When the security dialog window pops up, press Auto Setup and enter the key shown on the standby screen to get connected. Tap the Panasonic Wireless Projector for iOS icon on the home screen. Tap the network ID of the projector you want to use. Select OK when the confirmation message appears and connect the projector. Connection completion icon will be projected in the bottom right corner of the screen. This software also has a number of other handy features. Major functions include photo and document projection as well as web control. Let's go through each function step by step. You can project photos stored on your device using the Projecting Photos feature. Tap the Photos icon in the top menu. Tap the album containing the photos you wish to project. A list of thumbnails is displayed. Tap on the photo to project. The image you selected will now appear on the big screen. You can navigate to the previous or next photo by tapping arrows on the sides of the screen. Tap the back arrow to go back. Tap the forward arrow to view the next image.
the next photo is now displayed. You can also simply swipe to the left or right to perform this action. Another useful feature is the marker function. Tap the marker icon in the toolbar. You can draw lines with your finger on the screen. When you lift your finger from the screen, the line you drew is projected. By tapping the eraser icon, you can also erase the lines you drew from the screen. Tap X to return to the top menu. You can also display documents using the Projecting Documents function. Tap the Documents icon in the top menu. A document previously transferred via iTunes is displayed. This application supports PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, Keynote, Numbers, Pages, Text, and Rich Text formats. Tap the document to project. The document is now projected on screen. To return to the top menu, tap X. The next handy feature is projecting web pages. Tap the web icon in the top menu. Tap the bookmark icon to visit your desired web page. You can also enter a URL to perform this action. Let's select the Panasonic Projector Global website. The site is now displayed on the tablet screen and is mirrored on the big screen. You can scroll up and down during your live presentation. To return to the top menu, tap X. Next, let's take a look at how to use motion capture projection. Tap the camera icon in the top menu. The video image captured by the camera will be projected on the screen. Press pause to project the image as a still image. To go back to the main menu, tap X. Now, let's look at how to use multi-live mode. You can display content from multiple devices simultaneously using this function. Tap the setup icon in the top menu. Choose the style you want by tapping Live Style in the Multi-Live Settings menu. Tap Live Style. Let's use four screen multi style. Next, tap the setup button. Now, go back to the setup menu and tap position of display. Tap the position icon to arrange where you want each image to appear on the screen. Multi live mode includes various projection styles, full screen style, Four screen multi style, four screen index style, and 16 screen index style. Multi live mode is compatible with other devices including PC and Android. Whatever style you choose, you can change where the projected image appears on the screen. Browser Remote Control lets you operate projectors using buttons displayed in your device's web browser. Tap the Setup icon in the top menu. Tap Find Projectors in the Search and Connect column. Tap the I icon shown next to the network ID. The security dialog window will pop up. Enter your ID and password. Browser Remote Control will now appear. You can operate the projector using the buttons on the screen. 
or the projector can be operated using the web control function. Tap the setup icon in the top menu. Select projector in use. Tap web control. A security dialog window pops up. Enter your ID and password. The projector status window is now displayed. Tap the network status tab. Here, you can confirm projector status in detail. The application also includes a pointer function for images, documents, and websites, and one-shot projection of screenshots. For more information on how to use this software, please visit the Panasonic website.